what's happening there guys and welcome back to F1 Fresh. Daniel Ricciardo had been in close quarters with Max Verstappen for quite a while and has come to know a few things about him. In this video, we're taking a look at what Daniel Ricciardo disclosed about his relationship with Max Verstappen. But before we begin, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos going forward. Get excited. Yes, we are, right? Yes. <laughs> we are so excited. Number 7. Start of his career Daniel Ricciardo is a name that's known to most that follow F1 religiously. He's been in the racing game for a while and got his start by racing in the Formula Ford and the Formula BMW. After this, he moved on to the Formula Renault 2.0, where he actually ended up winning in 2008. He raced a couple more Formula 1 events, which all eventually led him to driving a Red Bull car. This was the first time he had done so, and there was an instant connection when he did. Even though he had won plenty of times before this and had some major accomplishments, people only started taking notice of him when he was signed by a team associated with Red Bull called Toro Rosso. This is where his fame started to take off and his skills were finally recognized, but this was just the beginning for him and there's a lot that came after, so let's look into some of that right now. So I'm just going to skip some then. <laughs> <laughs> but we got some new so yeah, I've been getting a few. Number 6. Racing alongside Sebastian Vettel Before Daniel Ricciardo had Max as his teammate, he had a few others that he liked racing alongside. One of those teammates was Sebastian Vettel. With him, Daniel showed that he could race alongside anyone and win multiple times. When he first started racing with him, Daniel actually won his first Grand Prix, which was the Canadian Grand Prix in 2014. During this time, people started taking a lot of interest in Daniel and his going-ons, which is why people started asking about what he was like on and off the track. Many people shared the same sentiment that Daniel Ricciardo was one of the best guys in the grid and the nicest guy in the paddock. This is one of the most important things to know about him because people began to doubt this about him when he started racing alongside Max Verstappen. This is Max, you. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just finished school. <laughs> Number 5. Arrival of Max Verstappen after Daniel Ricciardo had gained a lot of experience with racing alongside several different teammates, along came Max Verstappen. The two of them were racing for the Red Bull team, and the two of them had nothing but nice things to say about the other. When Daniel was first asked about Max Verstappen, he had a surprising answer to give. He said that he hadn't looked at Max's stats, and he didn't have any idea about what Max would be bringing to the team. After this, he implied that he was wrong in that assessment by saying that he had thought that he was at his limit, but when Max came along, the two of them started to elevate one another's performances. That's a very great thing to say about a teammate that's much younger than yourself, and that's where a good relationship started to form between the two of them. Number 4. Chemistry Between the Two Drivers Daniel and Max had started to get along great with one another, and this even ended up surprising their boss. When asked about the two of them, Christian Horner remarked that he didn't ask team members to go out to dinner, but that he only asked them to respect one another. He said that that was exactly what the two of them had done. He also added an interesting opinion about the relationship between the two drivers, which a lot of people had taken notice of online. He said that Daniel was like an older brother to Max Verstappen. This would have not only helped them get along with one another, but also teach one another about the different aspects of racing in F1. How was your holidays? Yeah, it was good. Maybe a little bit too good. <laughs> <laughs> Number 3. Cracks in the relationship As they say, all good things must come to an end, and that's exactly what started to happen to the relationship between Ricardo and Verstappen. While the two of them have been quite chummy with one another in the beginning, Rumors of bad blood between the two of them had started to pop up. Since these were just rumors at the time, they were quickly dispelled by everyone in the team. Daniel was even asked about this in an interview, and he answered by saying that there was just a rivalry between the two of them. He said that if you just considered the first few races, the relationship was good between the two of them. But he did add that he didn't know about the relationship between the two of them when looking at things in the long run. This answer didn't exactly help in dispersing the rumors, and things took a turn for the worse soon after. During one of the many races that they both participated in, 
Due to a few miscalculations, they both ended up crashing into one another. If there's one thing you should know about F1 crashes, it's the fact that the vehicles don't exactly remain drivable after it happens. This is why when the crash happened, the two of them couldn't get back in the race. Is, uh, going by his birthday next year. <laughs> I don't think so. No, but it's alright. We, we meet up in the sauna. Number 2. Moving to Renault After the crash had happened, it was just a matter of time before the two of them were no longer teammates. It was even reported that the drivers were told by Christian Horner to apologize to the team for losing the race. And since Max Verstappen was the new blood in the team, it meant that Daniel was the one that had to lead the team. This is exactly what ended up happening and he made the switch to Renault in 2019. He was asked about his decision to change teams and he said that he was initially very hesitant about doing so, but that after the decision had been made, he was instantly de-stressed. But going from Red Bull to Renault wasn't considered to be a promotion and he failed to get any notable wins with that team. It seemed like his talents were being wasted, which is exactly why he ended up switching to McLaren. This turned out to be the correct decision for Daniel to have made as he won the 2021 Italian GP with this team. Even after all this, he hasn't forgotten about his time racing alongside Max and made some comments about it recently. Hi guys, when do you think Red Bull can win the World Championship again? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Number 1. Recent Thoughts About Relationship Daniel sits down for a lot of interviews and due to the fact that his rivalry with Max is such an interesting topic, he's always asked about it. Recently, he had a few choice things to say about Max. Daniel said that he had known him for quite a long time and that he had seen him grow up and mature as a person. But that wasn't the most interesting thing he had to say about him. He also implied that due to the passage of time, the two of them had a better relationship in the present than they did in the past. He said that in the past, the two of them only had respect for one another, meaning that the relationship didn't go beyond that. Max himself also had a few nice things to say about Daniel recently. He said that Daniel was still quite a bit more experienced than him. Max also admitted that he lacked experience when he first started racing alongside Daniel, but that he had gotten more and more experience. It's great that both of them are being open about their relationship and talents, and here's hoping that that continues in the future. So guys, these were some of the things disclosed about the relationship between Max and Daniel. The two of them have an interesting rivalry, and it's still going strong to this day. Well guys, this brings us to the end of our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you don't miss out on future videos going forward. If you enjoyed the content, then let us know by leaving a like, and until next time, take care and goodbye.